peace and happy beautiful Tuesday. Self-initiation. We definitely live in a world of collective, but then there's this responsibility to self where you get to choose the way you initiate your life and the levels in which you desire to be in, right? This world is very expansive and it's limitless. And oftentimes I think we disregard the power of our intuition and when it's speaking to you on when it wants you to collide with another world, meaning another being, or when it decides it no longer needs it, when it desire, or when it decides maybe at one moment this thing, or this being, this energy served a purpose at one point, but no longer serves a purpose now, or doesn't serve a purpose now, but may serve a purpose later. And, you know, I think we judge a lot of our experiences, especially with humans, where they're good, they're bad, I don't like them, they're this, they're that, not realizing that it really is just a energy alignment game. And subconsciously, we came here to experience a certain aspect of ourselves or experience many aspects of ourselves and there is something in the unseen aspect of ourselves that is playing. Even though I'm here, I'm physically here, you can physically see me, you can physically touch me, there is another aspect of myself that is leading and guiding and um, allowing me to see certain aspects of things. And, you know, oftentimes starting to realize instead of being judgmental of the person that is in front of me, I have begun to feel them more and be able to observe them more and also just observe myself. When I'm in this space and energy field of this individual, how do I feel? How is the chemistry? Because there have been moments where I've been in people's presence and it's just off. I can see it. I can feel it sometimes even taste it and I don't mean taste as far as like oh I'm just gonna like lick your skin no not that type I'm just talking about just their essence right there's just this lingering energy about them so I've realized that it's not even about them being a good or bad person it's just divine intervening you know what I'm saying it, it's the divine within ourselves that is telling you that this is not the space for you to be in because every person has to be what they need to be in this present moment whether conscious or unconscious of it whether in their state of you know the the subconscious aspect of themselves that's very automatic or the conscious aspect of themselves where they literally are going to take, I'm going to take this choice and I'm going to do this with the choice. It's a conscious way of being. And then you have the robotic part of yourself that wakes up at the same time every day that, you know, uh, picks up your phone as soon as you wake up, that gets dressed the same way, that uses the bathroom the same way. That's the subconscious aspect because it's something that you've done on a daily. You created a habit and it's done all the time without you even having to think about it. So divine intervention is when your inner being is speaking to you. And oftentimes we miss the mark because we're too involved in the chaos and the labeling and the trying to analyze and trying to make something out of no nothing where it really is super simple. You know what I mean? And this is what I talk about the initiation game. You have to get yourself out of the lower plane of existing and begin to un unravel and reveal the deeper aspects of yourself 
which is hidden. And a lot of those things dwell in the unseen. It, it, it dwells in the spaces of that that cannot be felt or touched. And so you have to really dive deep within the abyss of yourself in order to have the true view of what is going on. You know, and so yeah, I think we really have to come into a space where we recognize you know, our intuitive side and that aspect of ourselves is always present. It's always speaking. It's always revealing. It's always, you know, allowing you, especially when you're living with integrity and with purpose, it's always communicating with you in aspects of where you need to place your feet, you know, and when you need to disassociate and when you need to embrace and when you need to ignore and when you need to speak up and when you need to just keep things to yourself you know and so yeah I think you know this whole life is really about self-observance and really getting connected to the spaces of ourselves that nobody can see you know, it really is this feeling, you know, when people say, well, I felt this type of way when this person was around me, or I felt, you know, that that's your intuitive side. That's that higher element of yourself that is speaking to you. And oftentimes you'll hear people say, well, it was that first thing that I should have, you know, listened to because now since I did it, now I'm in this situation. Exactly. You know, so yeah, I think self-initiation is critical and super important in this life because it's going to take you beyond yourself you know it's going to take you beyond the analytical way of thinking and how the mind wants to be very animated and creative and create shit out of nothing and um, make things think that it is this when really it's something else and I think that's where a lot of stillness comes from because when you're still and you're in the observant state of yourself especially first and above all things you begin to see things clearly you know and oftentimes it's important to really sit back and pay attention to nature and observe nature because nature is this I feel like for me nature is the highest representation of you know God frequency and it's experiencing itself through all of these you know dynamics that dwell in you know, the animals and the insects and all of them, and they just do what their DNA is programmed to do. They don't overthink, you know, they just are. And so you can learn a lot from um, nature and just observing, you know, but yeah, it's just a, something that I was thinking about today, how, you know, just moving yourself and initiating yourself into a space of more understanding and what is really going on you know, beyond the cloaking of the programs that we've attached ourselves to and stop trying to always label something for it having to be something. It just is, you know, people are entitled to be what they need to be and to move how they need to move. And you get to decide, one, of course, creating your boundaries and letting people know that, listen, I understand you're going through something, but you, you can go ahead and contact me on a different day and have a good day. You know, but it doesn't have to be this, I'm going to argue with you. I'm going to try to tell you who you are. None of that. Because you're in observance mode. You know, you have this understanding that, you know, you you don't get to control somebody else, but you do get to control how you respond and how you receive things. You know, and to me, my nervous system is very important. And if we aren't just gently brushing the nervous system and gently brushing our heart space and gently brushing the thing that gives us pure sight and gently brushing all aspects of this physical being inwardly and outwardly you know we we end up in very chaotic situations and it really is unnecessary um so yeah this is part of self-initiation when you can get to this level of you know, being more observant and less reactive towards certain things because you have a deep understanding and you're able to be guided by, you know, your intuition and your higher state of uh, being, which dwells from the heart, it dwells in the mind, it just dwells everywhere. So embrace it.